Howdy guys, Patriot back once again. This video is kind of aimed towards the uh, CPF or Candle Power Forums community. Um, and uh, this is basically just an update about the uh, titanium prion, that's the uh, 4.7's titanium prion with uh, running on a 10440 battery. So I did a video about a month ago uh, on it and uh, gave several minutes of it uh, uh, examples of it running on, on different batteries and so on. So I'm basically just going to do the same thing. This is a, a month later though after carrying the light daily and using it daily on 10440 batteries. So um, I'm just going to pan out here. We'll take take some of these AAA 10440s and put them in the nano charger just to make sure that they are fully charged. All right. You can see I've got a green LED here, and still green, and still green, no change, it means that we're fully charged, and for the next one, and we're still green, fully charged. I've got another nano charger over here, you can see the difference in color, that's a uh, partially charged. Uh, red and green together, so still still charging. But we do have three fully charged ones, and we'll show all those to you. Back in the tripod, and uh, I'm intention I'm intentionally not going to cut this video. That way, everyone knows that uh, we're not playing any tricks here. Okay. 10440 prion, completely stock prion, nothing's done to it. You can see the uh, stock board in there, or the stock driver. Stock circuit. Okay, we're on low right now. Hopefully this background's okay. Uh, all, all I need to do is demonstrate the level stuff, so. Okay, there's medium. And here's high. So, again, I'm just going to leave this there for a moment and uh, just kind of talk about the uh, 10440 again. Again, guys, I'm not I'm not saying that everyone should run out and go run 10440s in their 47s prion. That's not what this video is about. It is to demonstrate that the circuit doesn't instantly quote fry when you run it at a higher voltage. So um, the manufacturer doesn't recommend running the lithium ion battery in this light and that's fine. Um, it's not, not for everyone. Everyone shouldn't go out and start uh, using any, these batteries but if you want to hot rod it, uh, I'm, just, I'm just demonstrating that it's not going to uh, uh, kill the light. I mean who knows, after a year of this, maybe it will. I, I don't know. So I'm just kind of uh, uh, learning learning along the way here. And so far, by the lux meter uh, test, this light has not reduced in output. Uh, it's still about 20 to 25% more output than this uh, Maritac AAA on the same battery, which has been the same. That's, that's been a constant. So. Uh, yeah, it's it's getting getting pretty pretty toasty for sure. But also this battery is sagging a little bit since uh, we're taking a lot out of it. So what I'm going to do is go right to another battery here. Make sure everyone can see see that I'm in frame. I'm working upside down and backwards, which I normally don't do. So there's that one. Let's take a new one. A fresh one, and here's a uh, low, medium. Whoops, how did I miss it? Low, low, medium. <laughs> what am I doing? Low, medium, high. I just got out of. I guess I wasn't doing it fast enough. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're on high again. Now according to the light meter, this is 
I, I think one gentleman posted on Candle Power Forums that he was guessing it to be about 160 lumens. Well, I think that 160 lumens is the case for the uh, Prion 2, which is a two cell light uh, at less voltage. That's a two standard lithium or L92 batteries. So I suspect that this one's uh, quite a bit higher. Uh, according to my Lux test, it's somewhere around 190-ish lumens uh, initial output. Now it's not going to maintain that uh, because the draw on the battery. So just kind of feeling the light here. It's getting uh, getting pretty toasty. So I'm going to go right to the third battery now. Set that one aside, grab the next, and go right back up to high. There's low, medium, high. So I'm not heat sinking, I'm not heat sinking this light heavily with my hand. I have grabbed it a couple times up here at the head, which draws heat away from it, especially if I change hands, cold fingers back on it, and that kind of brings the temperature back down. But uh, as you've seen in my other videos, I've also let it sit by itself for, I don't know, was it two minutes? Two to three minutes, possibly. And uh, it's still running. So hopefully everyone <laughs> knows where I'm coming from and that I'm not endorsing these batteries. I'm not saying that it's for everyone, but again, I'm just showing you that it is possible that at least in my Prion, I only have one, that it's not instantly killing the light. So, uh, it's my understanding that the uh, Prion 1 and Prion 2 have the exact same circuit, the same board. So. Uh, the other one was meant to work off of 1.7 volts times 2. That's a 2 L92 lithium batteries. Those are Energizer E2s in a AAA form, which puts it at uh, 3.4 volts. So the, the, uh, the stock Prion 2 was designed to run at 3.2 volts. As this head's pretty toasty now, I'm going to draw some heat off of it with my hand. I might just go, I'm just going to put my hand here now, just to kind of keep the temperature reasonable. So, um, you know, I might even go to the, uh, one of these batteries now that's rested. I'm going to go back to one of these and go back up to high. We're at high again, and this time I am going to heat sink it with my hand just to just to watch the temperatures there. When I touched it there the last time, it was almost downright hot. So, just going to. But at the same time, this is a good test. I'm telling you, this this light gets hot sometimes running on high with a 10440. So, hey, it's a good uh, it's a good test for it. We'll see how long it it goes like this. Um, in any case. I was saying that the uh, stock Prion 2 runs at, uh, was designed to run at 3.2 volts, or uh, I'm sorry, 3.4 volts, and we're running this at 4.2 volts initial. Now the battery sags quickly, but uh, the point is that it does work. If the circuit was designed for 3.4 volts, 4.2 isn't that much greater, so. Um, that's part of the reason why I decided to try these batteries in this light uh, based on the Prion 2 and its design voltage and I thought you know what I'll bet this will take it I'm willing to uh, to give it a shot so anyhow that's it guys uh, video ran a little longer than I wanted it to it didn't I planned on five minutes but at least you guys got the uh, got the full meal deal so to speak Thanks guys and uh, we'll see you next time. I'll post another video on this light a couple months down the road. Bye for now.